Thank you, Kate. A bright spring evening in Manchester. Feel it. Just feel it. Ahead of us, a contest for the connoisseur. Enticing, enchanting, an evening of tantalising possibility. Take a seat, because I think this might be quite something. Morris, a star in Paris this time last year. Morris plays it in! What a start for Manchester City! Kevin De Bruyne has plunged and plundered! Not a hundred seconds played! The place explodes! Real Madrid already have a hole out of which to dig themselves. De Bruyne has dug it. In by De Bruyne. Jesus turning and scoring! How sharp is he right now? It's barely ten past the hour. And Manchester City lead the 13 times champions by two. Well, Real Madrid are being hit by a technical tornado. And Mendy can lift it in. It's Benzema! And the dynamic changes. There is just no halting this man right now. And Real Madrid are in it in a flash. Dynamic changed. How good is the UEFA Champions League? I mean, this is absolutely fantastic. Fernandinho's cross. Foden! And now the Catalan grin is broad. And the blue moon rises. As Foden rose. What? What a game. What drama. What a football match. And Ancelotti has the problem. Oh, it's a terrific turn from Vinicius. Who chases away from Diaz and keeps on going. Vinicius! Oh, wonderful goal. Wonderful, wonderful goal. In a truly compelling game. Whose twists and turns and dashes and darts are gripping all who are engaged by it. You just don't know what's happening next. Went over Cruz. Bernardo Silva, belter! Absolute belter! top corner another delicious decoration on this sumptuous football match and by the way an outstanding piece of refereeing to wave that on can Benzema conjure a way back once more Benzema in the face of the Blues in a moment that matters massively Karim Benzema Immaculately calm, ridiculously calm, deliciously calm. It's 4-3. But he wasn't missing that one. That takes nerve. Utterly gripping, compelling, enthralling, and breathe and ponder on what you have just witnessed. One of the great semi-finals of the Champions League era, no question. And the advantage once more is just one goal. After a diamond of a football match, a joy of a football match. Okay, thank you. Truly, there is no place on earth quite like it. This magical, mythical arena shimmers again. You just cannot help but be seduced by this place. Real Madrid obliged by their history. This is their reason for being. And Manchester City driven by their vision. This is what they want to be. Bernardo Silva. Jesus ahead of him. Bernardo Silva weaving. And Morris! That is a beautiful goal. And Manchester City may be going back again and even for Real Madrid it is a fair old journey back from here Camavinga coaxed up towards Benzema and smuggled in and Real Madrid do stay alive Rodrigo tiptoed in unnoticed and those in pure white have whatever is added on to 
have saved their lives. They wouldn't, would they? Real Madrid is a miracle club. Crazy things happen here. Carvajal. It's Carvajal's cross. The king of- Keeping count, it's 5 5. Dare he do the same? Eyeball to eyeball. Karim Benzema, a man of poise, of stout character. Benzema scores! And the Bernabeu blinks it back. This club of superlatives comes up with yet one more. Beyond extraordinary. They were dead, they live. Even he, even he, Pep Guardiola, his mind must be fraught. One more launch, what that? The night of the Real Resurrection. The pure white shirts have shimmered spectacularly once again. And Real Madrid are Paris bound. Real Madrid will play the big game again. The love affair goes on. Improbably, miraculously, impossibly, beyond their dreams, their expectations. And Pep does not know where to look. Blink it back. 6-5. So Liverpool, one of Europe's historic giants. From in front and for the tenth time or Villarreal wide-eyed aspirants against all odds and for the very first time into our continent showpiece game. Now purpose is Stupinian, who's cross has double, Capu, Dia, 1-0 Villarreal in next to no time. Hold the back page, there's a story still to be written. Snappily, Villarreal have dragged themselves back into this tail. Capu, away from Robertson. Capu's cross, Coquelin! Now the cat is amongst the pigeons. This is quite something. This was not meant to happen. Francis Coquelin has got big and has scored one of the biggest goals Villarreal have ever scored. Here's the man again. Salah, Fabinho, no flag. Fabinho! Thunders it through the goalkeeper and re-establishes the preeminence of Liverpool. He just crashed it home. Alexander Arnold, Diaz! Liverpool are boss now. The little electric Colombian has switched them back on. And they are now surely Paris bound. Sadio Mane is on his way and Rooney has come. Mane against Foyt. He's left Foyt behind as well. Sadio Mane must, must, must score. Beyond all reasonable doubts. Liverpool European Cup finalists for a tenth time and Liverpool will play again in Europe's greatest game. No trophy more prized than the one they flung into the Porto night sky in May and their boisterous followers here tonight insist that they should defend it with every blue fibre in their collective frame. From now on the Champions League is them or us. Compelling start to the game. Ziyech without swing. Chelsea's lead is a prompt one. And Havertz, third time lucky. He's been banging on the door from the outset. Havertz this time was to have his way. And Chelsea have their lead. Thomas Tuchel's passion is visible. Havertz on a high again. Here's Conte on the half turn. With Pulisic one way and Kai Havertz the other. He's played in Christian Pulisic! Another American goal in the European Champions.
Champions League. And Chelsea are a whole lot closer to where they want to be. And it's a whole lot healthier for Chelsea. Double do. A tick in the two call box. No certainty in the tie, but Chelsea, broadly speaking, are where they want to be on a night of routine satisfaction in West London. The final score at the end of the first leg at Stamford Bridge, Chelsea 2, Lille 0. Arturo Martinez, what a beauty! That is a brilliant hit! And into belief! Now Anfield's mood changes. Milanese voices are raised and Jurgen Klopp is twitching. And he has lit a fire under those Nerazzurri supporters. Liverpool lose at home for the first time in more than a year. But in defeat, victory. Aggregate victory by the two goals they scored in the San Siro. 0-1 on the night, 2-1 Liverpool overall. Around Varane. Supported by Griezmann. Lifted in towards Lenny. Atletico snatched the lead at the Stratford end. Renan Lodi, creator three weeks back. Executioner tonight. And Manchester United have it to chase. The Champions League, the great old European Cup as history would have it. The reigning champions of England, the reigning champions of Spain each this spring intent on becoming first-time champions of Europe. One will fall again and one will be within touch of their heart's desire. Their meetings are rare and precious. Here's Foden, Manchester boy, De Bruyne! So slick, so sharp. Foden bounced up off the bench and made it happen. Delicious pass. And De Bruyne did the rest. It's the substitution that's made the difference. <laughs> what a difference that has made to the mood. That is the difference. It is just a one-goal difference at the end of a rainy night in Manchester. Kevin De Bruyne executed it. But it was laid on a plate for him by the jaunty excellence of Phil Foden. But it is Manchester City who have the edge for Pep Guardiola. City 1, Atletico 0. 13 nights on from their heart-pumping rendezvous at Old Trafford. 13 nights since United rescued glory from the jaws of catastrophe. And Atalanta watched a fantasy melt into tears. Zapata. Worrying Wambasaka, Ilicic, he smashed it through to her, and Atalanta lift their own roof. United need a mood changer here, Bruno Fernandes, Cristiano Ronaldo, in here for Fernandes, Ronaldo! The magic man does his thing again! When in need, call seven. And it's a lovely finish, and even Cavani will appreciate that one. That was beautiful. Marvino. Over the top here for Duvan Zapata, who scores! Only for the flag to go up and silence the moment. It's a goal. Duvan Zapata's goal stands and Atalanta do have a lead.